We're here today uh, uh, on, uh, on beautiful Giles Island, right outside of uh, Natchez. Uh, and I guess we should be at the headwaters of the Missouri. We should be in St. Louis, where Lewis and Clark was leaving from in about 1803 or 04, after being commissioned by Thomas Jefferson to head west and map this whole new United States. And uh, one of the things that they wrote about, uh, uh, Rick, is uh, uh, beaver tail, the foods that they ate along the trip. Now, Rick Tremonto being a great chef from Chicago, I figured I should send in to Louisiana, bring in to Louisiana <laughs> to experience beaver tail for the first time. This is the modern day Lewis and Clark. Right, right. What do you think of our, our main entree? You know, I, I'm 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 amazed. I'm That's excited. A I'm, a <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see it to see it turn into whatever the it's going to turn into. Well, it's going. <laughs> well, well, Lewis and Clark had a fabulous uh, a French chef, uh, Charbonneau, and Charbonneau they, they kept journals about his uh, adventures in cooking. He did Boudin Blanc out of Buffalo. They they describe their excitement whenever they had a fresh catch of a beaver and of course beaver tail. So we wanted to experience what the beaver tail was all about. The beaver itself, I should mention y'all, absolutely fabulous meat, especially stewed or braised. So you ready? I am. Here's a, here's a tail and I want everybody to look at it real closely. Look, look at it. I didn't say look away from it. <laughs> here's a nice uh, little bone that runs straight through the center of the tail. Or remember, this is what they the beavers are moving with. And this white meat on each side is very fatty and it has great flavor and you can fry it as a filet as a fish almost or it's a great seasoning meat in beans as, a, as Charbonneau often did on the trip. So I'm going to put a little oil. There's a thick, thick skin on the outside of the beef tail. You can go ahead and throw some flavor down and on that. And is it almost like a, like a Dover sole where you actually fillet it or you peel it? I, I don't think uh, Charbonneau had any idea. I, th I think they ripped, they loved it so much. Yeah, well, when it goes on to a hot fire, the, 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 the outside skin blisters and you peel it almost like the skin of right. a, let's say the skin of a football, y'all. And what do we do with it now? I have a hot coal fire. And as, uh, as uh, 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 Clark said, throw it out. the fire, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Now, you're gonna just go ahead, you can see that the skin is very thick around the edge and the white meat is what we're looking for in the center. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just go ahead and cut right through that. The outer skin we would use either, yeah, there you go. You see how the skin is separating Separated. right there? Beautiful. Just gonna go right through it like that. And y'all, this is what we're looking for right here. And the inner white meat, which is very nice and, and uh, uh, white and juicy, can be used as fat, can be used to flavor beans. So y'all, uh, don't run away from beaver tail. 